there. Welcome to my channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to take a look at the rest of July for your love reading. This is a reading for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take the fifths, leave the rest. All right, and you guys, I'm going to be uploading daily live stream collective love readings coming up very soon. Um, I'm going to have them like at least an hour streaming them uh, chock full of all the charms and everything I used to do and then at the end try to implement um, if you're dealing with a particular sign what the messages are there and so that will be daily so you'll be able to pop here on my channel and get a daily message you won't have to wait weeks or months or anything like that um, you know I know there's some readers that do them daily and there's some um, this is just going to be for you specifically every day all right let's get started Gemini, what are the messages here for love for you for the rest of July? What is going on here? Okay, well, you've got date, meeting somebody new. That's nice. Dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date. Okay, you have hand of cards, so you're not showing, um, you're not showing your hands, not revealing everything, and you're also breaking up and separating with somebody here. Okay, stopping some pattern. Give me some of the acts, basically, is what it looks like. Um, you're taking a risk, maybe being very strategic, uh, looking at your options. You're not you're you're not showing your hand. Um, it looks like you're you're done with something or a particular situation, separation. You've broken up or you're breaking up with somebody, and you're getting back out there to date and get yourself in a you know back into your life. All right, let's take a look and see um, what's coming forward. All right. Oh, okay. Now you're looking at your options also. You're not saying anything to anybody um, or anyone, you know, it's on a need to know basis, I think, for you. All right, let's see what your, your past position, Knight of Wands energy, that Sagittarian energy. Um, there might have been somebody in your past who was, uh, had a lot of lusty energy that surrounded them, but they were, they were constantly on the move, um, in and then out and then in and then out. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. Eight of Wands, Love Bomber. Uh, Cupid's arrows, hmm. fast, somebody who is very fast, lusty, um, <clears throat> something you connected with somebody maybe in the past that it moved very, very quickly, very quickly. And it was like Cupid's arrows, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, interesting. What is going on? Because are you okay? Wow, Page of Swords, crazy. Um, there was somebody here that was like, I don't know, there was a stalking energy, there was like a nasty, a teenage angst, I'm hearing. Um, God, they just, what was that? What was that uh, Nirvana song? Teenage, teen spirit or something? I forget, I'm, 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 I've oldened that I can't remember that Nirvana song. Smells like teen spirit. Might have been somebody that um, was very, like, immature in the past. All right, let's... Okay, so it's whatever. Let's take a look at what's going on right now for you. Okay, so you're standing there, Gemini, and you're kind of like him and anon. Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, you're hesitating. Should I invest? Maybe in a past thing? Should I ax it? Or should I move forward? Um, should I not invest? Have I done enough? I feel like you're in uh, contemplation mode right here. Now let's cross. Okay. Well, the challenge is for you to see this thing in a different light. Um, I feel like you're trying to see something in a different light. You're waiting for some kind of new perspective to come down upon you um, to give you some insight, uh, make the best of a bad situation, but something's got you hesitating, okay? Something's got you hesitating about this. Um, it's really hard for you to see a, a person, place, or a thing in a new light, okay? It's a challenge. It might be helpful for you if you can get into forgiveness mode because 
the hanged man card can sometimes represent a very spiritual holy card like Jesus on a cross kind of thing but you don't have to be you don't have to be a, a, a Jesus fan you know I mean you can still practice all the principles but there's something here there's a hesitancy maybe to forgive or to let something go there's some very aggressive something was very aggressive okay um, it's a benefit for you to do this really quickly <clears throat> as fast as you can so you, uh, because you're stuck you look like you're stuck here with the seven of Pentacles what's driving this reading okay well wow. you want love yeah, you want love. You want someone to like express their love to you, ad admire you, appreciate you. Okay, that's your that's what drives you to want to date or to want to meet somebody else. And the question is, does this person love you, admire you? Um, or no? Or or is it just let it go? And I f I feel like, you know you're in that situation you're trying to stop some kind of pattern and move on but it, currently there's an energy here of like mm, okay wow queen of cups um so male or female energy you're looking what you want in your mind the picture you have in your mind of someone who is loving and supportive and appreciative of you appreciates you um kind someone who's kind and very intuitive and nurturing i feel like that's what you have in your mind like you you want someone to love you okay uh, that's what you want is it that person that you're axing let's take a look or it, is it there's something here is you know it's it's a challenge for you to see somebody in a different light let's see what's coming towards you okay wow five of pentacles that's some harsh energy that's um it's cold <clears throat> it's cold in that place that you're trying to get away from that place is there's nothing there it's abandoned this is a card of like poverty there's like there's only a few coins left on the tree it's a winter season it's like it's cold okay it's cold and i feel like this is what why you're standing at the crossroad because there's no love with someone they weren't standing here with love they were here with passion and lust and a lot of um cupid's arrows uh impulsive kind of energy your advice here okay you got the nine of swords okay you gotta you gotta connect with the, your your soul tribe the people um that support you okay it could be friends it could be family members um because your anxiety level like right now gemini you gotta connect with your people okay the people that like celebrate you and that love you you gotta stay because they're gonna relieve your anxiety right that's another form of love you can't if you're not able to get love from a particular person that you want that appreciation or adoration and the things that you you know have your needs met in those emotional ways you can get them met through other people okay you can <clears throat> that's very healthy that's why we have our soul tribes and people that support us and take care of us and love us just for who we are and your advice <clears throat> is to connect with those people okay so let me take a look what's external okay you've got a queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn very balanced very nurturing very healing um okay very intuitive okay this person basically makes decisions based on their intuition and um they compromise they make a lot of compromise this person i don't feel like it's whoever this is this feels like this is a male or female uh someone in your life who is you know putting food on the table um, this is someone who pays the bills this is someone who um tries to be, bring peace and tranquility um, might sometimes have some blockages or uh, might not communicate very well has a hard time articulating emotions and feelings but um, 
this is someone's very stable and um, they're external to you so that could be a new lover that could be a friend that could be a family member but they're showing up significant in your life your hopes and wishes well you know you want to get through a grieving process here I feel like you're going through something here Gemini <clears throat> the five of cups you don't want to sit here with any regret and remorse and that's why I feel like you are taking your time trying to make some kind of decision about axing a relationship or getting or walking out of a relationship that you might feel is not healthy for you okay but you're not you're kind of keeping that on the, like it's low key so you can get back out there and meet somebody but you're not a hundred percent there yet what is the outcome okay the end of a struggle ten of wands struggle of like an abusive situation or someone um, and also cutting something off here okay um, you've been carrying a burden for a long time, okay, and putting an end to <clears throat> somebody who, the Five of Swords is somebody who, it's like when you have two football teams and one team is like 100 points and the other is only two, um, it's a shutout. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to come to the end of the struggle here. You're going to release your burdens and shut this thing down. Uh, probably towards the end of July going into August where I feel like you're going to really come into yeah understanding what you need to do what areas in your life you need to be consistent and what you need to um, polish up and keep building on yourself right <clears throat> are you going to get out there and date are you going to connect with other people I think you will excuse me but I don't know that you're going to go like into anything very serious at this time. I think you're just going to just try to take it easy. Maybe enjoy the rest of your summer. All right, let me see here. What are your love messages from the Romance Angels? Love messages from the Romance Angels. Nothing wants to come out today. Hmm. Okay. Children, very important to your life right now. Your love life is affected by children or a child. Okay. Something to take into consideration as you move forward. Okay. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing your spiritual path this has a lot to do with like your belief system okay um hmm. could have been like um the way you were raised are you a spiritual person religious person um questioning yourself these factors are going to play a role in um decisions that you make going forward when it comes to love okay or something to do with children. Let me see. Okay, and your advice, let go of control issues. Allow everything to unfold naturally. This particular situation, new situations, just let go. Just chill, okay? Because... <laughs> if, you're, if, you, if you have a mind to seek revenge, the, the best revenge is a dish served cold did i say that right i don't even know but letting go of any control issues allowing th i heard somebody say once let the chips fall where they may you know then you don't have to worry about uh, having to control or people because people oh people are going to their people are just going to do what they're going to do and we have no control over them we only have control over ourselves there's no sense of getting upset if it affects you directly in some way um let people dig their own graves and i don't mean that literally i just mean people don't people learn the best when they have to experience things themselves um i just want to get a couple more cards here <clears throat> i want to see what your messages of love are going forward yeah, let go of everything. Just relax. Just go sit by the beach, sit by the pool, 
connect with some friends or some people who really love you and care about you. Spend time with them as much as you can. Um, if you're going to go on some dates, go on some damn dates and just go have a drink and talk to other people. Get a new perspective. Um, you know with other women and you can say I'm just looking to date if you're not ready to get into anything serious I'm just looking to have some companionship and someone to have some dinner and drinks with and if they're not okay with that just be upfront. if they're not okay with that say okay see ya and, and you know just tread very slowly let things just happen naturally okay passion try something you've never done before wow Gemini this is what I was talking about get yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit it's okay you can start living your life bit by bit let's see one more for Gemini one more message okay financial challenges will affect your connection so some of you are not in a financial position to get into um, any kind of relationship or you do not want to receive anyone who's in a financial uh, a position that you don't want to support anybody either okay so um, you might want to <laughs> yeah, take it easy with that <laughs> okay and play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy not only each other but yourself and your friends and other people in your life if you have children your children your child find time to just enjoy the rest of your summer have fun okay because the opportunities are going to come to you um, I just think it's uh, getting through these next couple of weeks. Um, just keep, <laughs> like my son and I always say, just be Jerry Seinfeld. Just totally like, oh, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, Gemini, I love you guys. I will see you very shortly. Okay, so